Season appears to be ramping up with scenes like this unfolding today in the South Bay. That is one of several small fires keeping firefighters busy across the Bay Area. Firefighters say now is the time to get prepared. KTVU South Bay reporter Lamonica Peters joins us live from San Jose after speaking with firefighters about how they are doing the same. Lamonica. Yeah, so far, no structure damage or injuries have been reported for any of these fires. But Cal Fire says this is a reminder that wildfires can happen at any time, despite all of the rainy weather we had earlier this year. And it is a windy day. We've had wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour. So people downwind south of this location will be smelling some smoke for a little bit of time. San Jose fire officials say a wind-driven fire burned about an acre of grass at Lake Cunningham Sunday afternoon after 4 p.m. One person at the lake took this video as the fire began. As 32 firefighters worked to contain the fire, the park was not evacuated and the fire was contained in a few hours. I don't know how the fire started, but um, I'm hoping that we reduce the amount of fires we have here in California. Despite the heavy rain the Bay Area received this winter, fire officials say dry brush may still cause dangerous fire conditions. In Napa County, the Snell Fire began Friday night near Hope Valley, burning 103 acres. As of Sunday evening, the fire is 90% contained. Cal Fire's Napa unit says they'll continue removing burning materials inside the control line, and a strike team will remain on site overnight. We're really kind of in mop-up operations and that's just our crews working to make sure that we're extinguishing hot spots, maybe removing hazards from trees, spelling trees, um, and doing that type of work to trying to get this thing short up. Cal Fire says the fire conditions they see now are typical for this time of year. From January 1st to June 13th, Cal Fire's Napa unit says it has battled 83 fires covering 29 acres, a much smaller amount compared to this time last year. But Clay says people shouldn't let their guard down. Now is really a good time to start doing some of that work around your home, that defensible space. Clearing brush and vegetation, giving yourself that safety buffer around your home should a wildfire come your way. Clay also said that although there may be an uptick in wildfires around this time of the year, that they can still happen and that people should stay prepared all year long. Greg? Always good advice. Lamonica Peters live in Santa Monica, San Jose for us tonight. Lamonica, thank you. Another